Icons in Sound is um, being presented in the wonderful acoustic and uh, very atmospheric space that is St Peter's Cathedral in Adelaide. And we're delighted that this year um, the Australian conductor Benjamin Northey is leading the Adelaide Symphony Orchestra in um, a beautiful programme of music by James Macmillan, the Scottish composer, um, Brett Dean, the great Australian composer, and the Estonian Arvo Pear. It's a very um, exuberant piece, um, full, of, full of life and quite wild. It's called Exultit, which is actually, um, I think, means rejoice and is actually um, probably linked in um, some ways to the, the um, Easter Vigil. Brett Dean's Carlo occupies a very different sort of sound world. It's written for strings with a beautiful chorale of recorded voices. And the other piece in the programme is Arvo Pert's um, magical um, piece dedicated to the memory of Benjamin Britten. Again, very, very different work to Macmillan and to uh, Brett Dean's Carlo, but um, it will be an absorbing listen in. Adelaide Town Hall is the, the wonderful space, wonderful acoustic for um, uh, the Adelaide Symphony Orchestra's first Masters um, subscription concert of 2013. Delighted to welcome to Adelaide um, the South African conductor Gerard Corsten. Stefan Jakiv, um, young American violinist, um, just 28 years old, um, is the soloist in Mozart's um, fifth violin concerto. Gerard Corsten opens um, the, the concert um, in Adelaide Town Hall with, with Ravel's um, Tombeau de Couperin, which is um, Ravel's um, response, if you like. It's a beautiful neoclassical um, piece um, inspired by the Baroque French composer Francois Couperin. To close the concert, Mendelssohn's um, wonderful evocation of a, of a romantic Scotland, as imagined by him. Fantastic symphony. It's full of wit, full of um, wonderful sort of Scottish style and conjures up and wonderful images of romantic Scotland, so locks, burns and, and ruined castles. Um, it'll be a pleasure to hear Joe Corston in the orchestra play that.